I'm sorry, this ain't bacon. Bologna. It looks like a smiley face, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. This morning, we're trying these Johnsonville sausage strips. We've never had these before. I'm not gonna tell anybody what they are. I'm just gonna cook them. And we have biscuits left over from last night, so we're gonna have sausage strip and egg biscuits. <laughs> Should be good. They kind of, um, they kind of smell like bologna. Titus just told me this don't really taste like bacon. What's it taste like? I don't know what it tastes like. It tastes kind of like salami or something. Salami? I'm sorry, this ain't bacon. <laughs> it's sausage. Sausage and strips like bacon. It's sausage strips. I knew something was strange about that situation. Oh my god. It's weird. Because it don't taste like sausage either, really. You want bacon to be crispy. Well, it's not bacon. It's not awful. It's, I think it's you just you know. Money. This is working on my mind right here. I cannot <laughs> take this. We'll see what everybody else thinks about it. It's like um, sausage, but it looks like bacon. What is this? Try it. It's like <laughs> it's, it's very flat. Yeah, it is flat, but it's sausage. It just looks like bacon. It's Okay, y'all, it's a couple hours later now. Update on the sausage strips because everybody ate breakfast at different times. When Titus has to leave really early in the morning, he's usually the first one to eat, then Jacob and Tyler, then everybody else. So you saw Titus and Manly both, they were both a no, no. Manly went like he licked it one time and that was it. He was like, nope, it was just too weird for him. All the other kids liked it though. They were coming in here and eating while I was making up my bed and out there letting the chickens out and all that stuff. So I didn't get their reactions to it. But they liked it. Tyler ate like two or three biscuits. I know he ate at least two. So it was a hit with them, but they really love bologna and pepperoni and salami and stuff like that. They used to not like salami, but they do now. It tasted more like bologna than sausage to me, but it was weird that it was supposed to be sausage, look like bacon and taste like bologna. We have dinosaurs roaring about it in the background. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that threw Titus off. It threw me off a little bit too. It's not bad. It was actually good, but it did seem like bologna, sort of. And bologna is much cheaper than that, so. All right, so this morning, while the kids are doing their schoolwork, we're gonna make some chocolate pudding parfaits. I'm gonna make them, put them in the refrigerator. They will probably only last through snack time this afternoon, but we may have them for dessert tonight. <laughs> I've made the chocolate parfaits before. It's really easy. You just use instant or cook and serve. I'm using cook and serve today chocolate pudding or you can do a homemade chocolate pudding and then you just mix it with some whipped cream. I'm going to do homemade whipped cream because we have a lot of cream in the refrigerator but you can use Cool Whip. You just mix it with whipped cream and then you put graham cracker crumbs in the bottom of the little cup, chocolate pudding, and then whipped cream on top. That's it. We're also going to make some cinnamon bread. I think I'm going to do two loaves and put one of them in the freezer and if you'll follow me this way we've got to fix this situation. Once again it's gotten messy over here. This is where I store things as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, we've got to straighten this up. I think I'll get the parfaits made and the cinnamon bread in the oven and then we'll come in here and straighten all this up. I'm gonna try to get all this done before lunchtime.
Okay y'all, it's a little while later. I was helping the kids with their schoolwork. Now we're gonna make the cinnamon bread. I'm gonna make two loaves, like I said, and put one in the freezer so I have a cup of softened butter in here. I'll put the original recipe down below for y'all. I've got the oven preheating to 350. We're gonna go ahead and put in the sugar. For one loaf, you need one cup of sugar. We're doing two, so we're putting in two cups. And we're gonna cream this together. Oh, I do that every time, y'all. Let me plug it up. Now we're ready. Here you go. There's a new one. Now, what is this? Um, an octopus. Octopus. And what are these? A brown fish. Brown fish. Very good. What's this one? Um, a blue fish. Blue fish. So you need to look at the colors of the fish and pick the crayon that matches them and color them that color. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does the octopus eat the fish? Balls. They eat little balls? Yeah. There's a list down here. Six, seven, eight. Eight. Very good. Eight fish. Is this the number eight? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, now we're going to put in two eggs. So one of these loaves of cinnamon bread is going to be for breakfast in the morning. I'll probably make some eggs and bacon or something to go with it. We're out of sausage strips. And the other one, like I said, I'm going to put it in the freezer and we'll have it for breakfast on a different day or whatever. We're putting in a couple of teaspoons of vanilla and two cups of milk. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that start mixing. Okay, the last thing we're going to put in is self-rising flour. Now for one loaf, you need two cups. Since we're doing two, we need four cups total. So I'm going to go ahead and mix in the first two cups, then I'll add the other two so it doesn't poof flour out everywhere. <laughs> We've made this cinnamon bread before and it is really good. Now I'm gonna fill each one up halfway. This one of course is a little smaller than this one so we'll have more and this will be a bigger loaf, you know. The batter is pretty thick so you can just get it out with a spoon and we'll just spread it into each one halfway. Then we're gonna mix a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. So we add some to each loaf pan. I'm doing two tablespoons for each one, maybe just a little bit more on this one since it's a little bigger. Now we're just gonna take our fork, do a swirl motion here. Same thing over here. Now we put the rest of the batter over the top. Now we're going to take the rest of our cinnamon sugar mixture and sprinkle it over the tops and do the swirl thing. it. Now these are going in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'll start checking them at 25 minutes and see if I need to rotate them or anything like that. If the tops are getting too brown, I'll just put a little bit of foil over the top. And you know what? I think I'm going to put these both on the same rack. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, you built a train over here with pencils and crayons? That's nice. Let's see how you did with your fish. Hmm. I trapped them. You trapped them? Yeah. Oh my goodness, you circled them all, I see. Yeah. Circled each one. What about this red one? Should we color it red? Yeah. Yeah, let's color it red. All right, sorry the washer and dryer is kind of loud, but first step is we're going to take everything off. Let me open up the blinds so there's a little more light in here. We're going to take everything off so we can pull this whole shelf thing out and clean the floor and everything up under it because there's been some flour spills and such. Hopefully everything that we're having to put up on top of the refrigerator can move to this shelf once we get it all cleaned. All right, we got everything off the top of the refrigerator. Move this, cleaned out from under it, and got everything put back on here. Still doesn't look great, but much better than it did. <laughs> OK, 
okay y'all the breads are done I'm just letting them cool down I went ahead and took this one out of the pan it'll be the one we'll have with breakfast in the morning this one when it cools down I'll just wrap it up and put it in the freezer I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one though so y'all can see what it looks like on the inside there we go our cinnamon swirl it looks like a smiley face y'all at this part of the bread it's down here at the bottom and it totally looks like a smiley face it smells so good y'all okay I'll just put this back together when it cools down we'll wrap it up too and I'll just leave it out at room temperature and it's time to make supper really easy because we had lots of leftovers from yesterday so I have great northern beans heating up right here we cooked them in the instant pot yesterday we have some fried potatoes left over there two biscuits left surprisingly we had some for breakfast this morning too but we still have two biscuits so I need to make some cornbread since we just have two biscuits left for this cornmeal I'm out of white lily and Martha white so we're using great value yellow cornmeal 